For some, the road to being a Division athlete is a glorious one. But for Mustafa and Oibi, it wasn't always glorious. Sometimes, it was a nightmare. Growing up in Farquhar, New York was, was at times rough, you know. It's like trying to stay afloat and not fall into with the wrong crowds. And, and that's where football came in. Football came as a, like an outlet to not fall in with the wrong crowds. You know, there's a lot of gangs and stuff like that. Growing up with rough surroundings wasn't the only adversity Mustafa faced. He also had to deal with a very tough loss, probably the biggest loss in his life so far. I'll say that because after he passed away, I, I kind of went through like a time where I was just acting out. Mm -hmm. So after that, I spent like two years in Nigeria. I was going to school there and like looking at my other culture, his side. And then, yeah, that was like the most adverse thing I've gone through. Uh, it shared me a lot. I met God there. It, it, was a, it was a humbling experience to show that how what I had in America was, was a privilege. Because I see people in Nigeria, they, they didn't have the opportunities I had. So I really had to like sit down and like think about like what I had, like what I had with, that was here. It was so good. Like, uh, it was fun, but at the same time, it was like, like, like kind of like a, like a war zone. Because like, some nights you, have, you wouldn't have anything to eat. I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I was back home. Through it all, Mustafa manages to have a positive outlook on life, and he spreads that positivity among the people around him. He's always, you know, the one that to, to, to make everybody laugh. He's always trying to get a smile out of you. He's always looking to, you know, get you to, you know, whatever may, bad days you may be having, he's always trying to get you to smile and get you. He's kind of the same thing on and off the field. I th there's no really big difference, except for the fact that, you know, he's, He's a little bit more reserved. He likes to be to himself sometimes. Um, you know, often he just likes to joke around with the guys, or um, you know, he's just trying to he's just trying to enjoy his life. And I think that's one of the big things that you know he's taught me, and just to live life and enjoy everything at every moment. I mean, I look at the bright things in every situation. When things go wrong, I just I don't like to bar in the negative. I just like to go in the positive because it's positive to every situation. So like, I think my experience in Nigeria brought that out of me. Although he is a very positive person, he still deals with the negativity, but he uses the negativity as motivation. Uh, my biggest motivation is my family and the naysayers. Like, I'm not supposed to be here, but I grinded, I grinded all the way to the top. So I grinded, I grinded, and I just can't stop until I get to my destination, my goal. It was just to make my family proud, graduate college, be the best I can be on the football field and just like become a successful individual. This is Tamar Wilson, Fairfield, Connecticut, reporting for Sports Buzz.